Hey everyone, it's Icy and Elton coming to you from California. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Um, I want to thank you all so much for joining me. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the five steps to mastering the art of social media recruiting. Now, unless you've been living in a cave somewhere for the uh, past 20 years, you've no doubt got a social media account or two and have seen other marketers trying their hand at social media recruiting. Some, of course, with better results than others, and we're going to hit that, uh, talk about that later. Now, you might be skeptical about whether or not these online prospecting methods can work for you and your business. So I'm here to tell you that if you're a network marketer and you're not actively and strategically recruiting using social media, well, you might as well pack up and move into a cave and contemplate the sound of one hand clapping. Because here's the bottom line. Social media is the single most powerful way to prospect, recruit, and grow your network marketing business, bar none. It's quite literally the gold rush of the 21st century, but you have to do it right. You have to do it without spamming, browbeating, begging, pestering, or manipulating anybody into coming to some mysterious home party or hotel uh, presentation. And if you do it right, you'll never have to face shame, rejection, or embarrassment again. People who want to do business with you will find you. If you do it right, people will select themselves into your business, quite literally, recruiting, enrolling, and training themselves. So how do you do it the right way? Well, I'm going to give you five essential steps to, recruit, to recruiting using social media to build your online um, empire. Now, step number one. Choose your preferred social media recruiting platform. Of the nearly 5 billion people worldwide who use the internet, almost 4 billion are active on at least one social media platform. So which social media platform should you choose to start your social media recruiting? And the answer is, it depends. And the reason I say it depends is because it goes to the product or service you want to market. And it also depends on who your target customer is and where they're most likely to hang out online. And it also depends on what your competitors are doing. So let me share the top five social media platform businesses currently are using to build their brands and market themselves. And I'm also going to give you my thoughts about each one. To start with is Facebook. Facebook's the largest, most used social media platform by far, with well over 2.5 billion users worldwide. More than 90% of businesses use Facebook in their business-to-consumer marketing efforts because they can precisely target customers by age, occupation, interest, and geographic location. Because so many businesses are using Facebook, it might be challenging to break in, but I'm here to tell you it's totally worth the effort. Twitter is used by 64% of marketers for short, informative messages and giving precise solution-oriented messages to customers. It's also a great platform to use during live events to engage with your followers and promote shares and retweets. Instagram users tend to be a younger group of people. Eight, about 800 million users among the millennial crowd and people younger than 24, those are the ones that hang out on Instagram. It also tends to um, be the preferred social media platform for fashion, beauty, and other businesses that would be attractive, um, attractive to younger women. So if your brand is very visual, then Instagram's a great platform to consider. YouTube is the largest video platform worldwide, used by 46% of marketers and 1.5 billion consumers. It's the best place to engage your fans by posting a variety of content like how-to videos, team trainings, product presentations, reviews, testimonials, and, um, and short original videos that entertain and um, educate your followers. And then finally, there's LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a bit of a sleeper in the social media prospecting arena as it's primarily a network for business people to network with other business people. It's really not a platform for um, direct product or opportunity pitches, but if you provide solid, high-quality professional content aimed at highly educated working professionals, 
between the ages of 30 and 55, it truly can be a gold mine. Most of LinkedIn's 800 million users worldwide, they're looking for content about skill development, sales, and work trends. So what's my advice if you're just starting out? Pick one social media platform and use it to develop your brand and voice and grow your fan base. Then as you create engagement, add a second platform, then a third platform or more as you gain followers and experience. I recommend starting on Facebook. That's where I started because people are accustomed to it. Facebook makes it really easy to start getting high quality leads within hours at a really reasonable price. And their interface couldn't be simpler. Once you've mastered Facebook, any other platform will be a breeze to set up. And once you've reached the point where you feel comfortable with multiple platforms, you can use your social media platforms as cross-promotional vehicles to dramatically expand your reach. Okay, so my number two tip for, for mastering the art of social media is recruiting to create a business presence on your chosen platform. So while some people do start out with social media recruiting using their own personal profiles, I recommend starting right from the get-go with a business presence on your social media platform. Regardless of the platform you choose, you need to be ready with a professional quality portrait or a headshot, um, a good looking graphic banner, a punchy description or an elevator pitch um, that's about your business and, and what you stand for. And you should also have a username that reflects your business. Facebook really makes it easy to build a business page by simply finding the link that says create page and follow the prompts to identify the purpose of your page, upload a professional image and background, enter a brief description, and select your target audience, including their demographics, their location, and their interest. Twitter is even easier to set up because all you have to do is head over to Twitter um, to sign up from their homepage. Give them your name and phone number or your email address, and then wait for them to send an activation code. Then once you activate your account, just follow the props. Or if you already have a personal Twitter account, just edit your profile settings to include images and taglines and details about your business. You can start advertising in minutes. Instagram has become simple since Facebook now owns it. So you set up your business Instagram account by downloading the app from the App Store or Google Play, whichever one you have, then enter your email or tap log in with Facebook. And then once you're inside the app, go to settings, then switch to business account where you'll complete your business profile and again, start promoting your content within minutes. YouTube requires you to sign in. So you need to go to settings and then create a new channel. Then once you're there, you would choose um, business or other name. And all you need to do is provide the relevant details about your business and then voila, you're, as they say, in business. Um, and then finally, LinkedIn, it distinguishes between a user, a user profile and a LinkedIn page. So the profile um, is for you as an individual and the LinkedIn page is for your business. Now to create a business page, you would just click the work icon on your profile page. Then you would click create a company page and you'll be asked to provide a few details and verify that you have the right to create the page. Then you would click uh, create page. From there, you can add details, images, and content to promote to your followers. All right, ah, I'm out of breath. And I know I have given you a lot of information, but really don't worry because each of these social platforms has a detailed help and, and support links to walk you through the process. Um, and trust me, if you can create a Facebook page, everything else is really easy. Now, on to tip number three. You need to build an audience or a fan base or group of followers. All right, so we've selected um, one social media platform to focus on. You've created your business page, and now what? Well, I'm telling you right now, at this point, do not promote your business or opportunity. It is not time to begin recruiting for your business on social media yet. The first thing you have to do is to grow a group of followers or fans or audience. Now, how do you do that? Well, it's very simple. You're gonna ask people to follow and support you. You're gonna follow people who you admire, who are doing what you'd like to be doing and ask them for a follow back. 
Go through your current personal fans or followers or audience and invite those who might be willing to at least visit your new page to express their opinion about it. Invite former colleagues, coworkers, professional service providers, and business contacts to simply visit, like, or share your page. Invite supportive, and I mean supportive friends or family members, to visit your page and share it with people they think might be interested. But again, don't sell anything, not yet. Simply invite them with a simple post. And here's an example. You might wanna send something that says, hey, I just created a page for my new business and I'd love for you to comment on it. Another thing you could do is say, I started a new page to feature news and information about you know whatever your product or service is, and I'd love for your feedback. Please feel free to follow or like or share um, and retweet any suggestions. I mean, that's all. That's all you need to do because the very first thing you have to sell people on is you. And how do you do that? By posting interesting, engaging content, not by immediately beginning to recruit on social media. Trust me, that time will come. All right, tip number four, curate, create, and post interesting, engaging content. Depending on the social media platform you've chosen, post stories or articles or images, videos, or links to articles your followers might find interesting and valuable. Now keep in mind, this doesn't mean posting pictures of your lunch. The goal is to connect with your followers by providing information they would find useful and valuable because your aim is to build a community of like-minded followers. Again, you're not mentioning your product. You're not mentioning your opportunity it's still not yet time to begin openly recruiting on social media. Instead, you're sharing an article you found, you know, like something from Women's Health about nutrition or from Forbes magazine about the rise in small business startups. Or you could share a cartoon about raising kids or a, a joke or a story about commuting. Share a story about a friend or colleague who has done something amazing and offers your congratulations. And remember, when you share, you wanna share it at least daily, if not three to five times a day. And you wanna share often enough to establish a reputation of value. Also, when people comment or like or share, always thank them, engage with them. Pass their valuable content along. As you're sharing other people's content, you're gathering valuable intelligence about what your audience finds worthy of liking, commenting on, or sharing. Each social media platform has a way for you to track engagement. The follows, the likes, the shares, the retweets, and the comments you get from each post. It's also going to give you valuable information about what kind of content to create yourself. Your goal is to gather an audience, provide them value, and be social about it. That's it. And occasionally, maybe one in every eight or one in every 10 posts, share a link to your own website or capture page to start recruiting those social media followers for your business or opportunity, because then that's where things will get interesting. All right, that brings me to my last tip, number five. Advertise and promote only to a warm market. As your audience grows, you'll learn more about them. And as you look at your engagement and statistics on your chosen social media platform, you'll start to be able to identify the kinds of posts they're finding most valuable. That's when you can start creating your own content to post on your own website, available to anybody who's willing to follow a link and either private message you or click through to your landing page and provide their contact details. I call that content lead magnet. Contact your fans will feel is valuable enough to exchange their contact details for. There are of course lots of ways to get that contact information besides creating a lead magnet. And to name just a few, you could sponsor a contest. Your visitors have to visit an, um, an entry page and give you their details. You could host a Facebook Live or a YouTube Live or you know, any live event for that matter about a topic of interest. Post a link to join, and again, your visitors will have to provide login information. You could buy targeted advertising on virtually every social media network to invite people to your lead magnet, live event, or your contest. Now, you can begin to recruit using social media because you still must have, you know, once you've done this, you can begin to recruit using social media, but keep in mind, you still must have tact um, when you're doing so. 
Because once your followers have given you their contact information, they're now your leads. They have explicitly given you permission to advertise and market to them. They found you. You didn't chase them. They asked to join your list. You didn't beg them. You've given them value. You didn't have to spam them. They've already clearly expressed interest in what you have to offer. Once you've turned your fans and followers into leads, you can lead them using targeted marketing and advertising through every step of your sales funnel, up to and including buying your products or recruiting themselves onto your team. So in a nutshell, social media and recruiting, it's really very straightforward. It's a very simple process. And the good news is, once you've set up your first social media recruiting campaign, you can almost automate the process. But it requires patience. It requires persistent daily action. And it requires mastering one step at a time. Social media recruiting requires a plan. So if you're looking to attract the very best prospects to your business on Facebook and every other social media platform, then check out the strategies in the link above for a free 10-day online recruiting bootcamp. It'll show you exactly what to do and how to position yourself so you'll never have to chase, annoy, pester, or beg anybody ever to take a look at your products, services, and business. These methods allow you to build your business automatically, where prospects reach out to you instead of you having to reach out to them. The bottom line is that in today's age, you don't need to be pushy, obnoxious, or overly aggressive to build a successful business. So in this free 10-day online recruiting bootcamp, you'll learn the same strategies that I use to take my business into the 21st century by recruiting on social media. In fact, day nine of this free online recruiting bootcamp, it'll show you how to grow your business even when people say no to joining your network marketing organization. So what are you waiting for? Get started today and just click the link above this video to get immediate access to the free 10 day online recruiting bootcamp and start generating leads this week. Well, I hope this video was of some value to you. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.